In May 2013, I accompanied the writer and barrister Philippe Sands to Vienna to meet with Horst Wächter, a man who still refuses to believe that his father, a high-ranking Nazi officer, caused the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Poles and Jews during the Second World War. I am accepting this father as my father, he says, in response to any who might question his support for his father or the Nazi system, as he refers to it. We stayed at Horst 17th century Baroque castle Schloss Hagenberg, situated close to Hungary's border with Austria. There was no central heating in the cavernous structure, and as we toured the place, we were led to an upper floor which housed a shrine to his father where we found a birthday card inscribed to SS Gruppenfuhrer Dr. Otto Werther from Himmler, photographs of his father posing with Goebbels and Hitler, photographs taken in the Warsaw Ghetto of Jewish prisoners looking forlorn and fearful, wearing armbands, identifying them as Jews. We were about to get into the cab that would take us to the airport in Vienna to fly back to London when Horst's wife sidled up to me and whispered in my ear, Charlotte, she was a Nazi till the day she died. It seems it was a busy period for Philippe and me. By September, we were working together once more. Philippe's neighbour was David Cornwall, a.k.a. the writer John le Carre. His novel, The Spy Who Came In From The Cold, written in his 30s, brought him accolades, fame, allowing him to leave the British intelligence service. Our shoot was scheduled at Philippe and David's local haunt, the Wells Tavern. The two would lunch there, every few months crowning their meal with rhubarb crumble and a conservative portion of vanilla ice cream. The FT Weekend magazine had commissioned Philippe to do a feature about Le Carre, as his novel A Delicate Truth was about to be published. Since I had been commissioned to do the profile image to go with the piece, I asked Philippe if I could photograph them for my affinities project. I look back on the little films that I made and I see that they must have found me a bad conversationalist. What I've been doing. But we're not cynical. That's we're not thing. cynical. No. We're, 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 we're optimists. I'm not. We're optimists. Okay. So looking, looking. Yeah. You looking at David mm. and David looking at me. David looking into the lens. Perfect. The image of John Le Carre graced the cover of the magazine. The esteemed author inscribed my book for a memorable afternoon of photography, film, and rhubarb crumble. A few evenings ago, I attended the Zoom launch of Philippe Sand's book, The Rat Line, Love, Lies and Justice on the Trail of a Nazi Fugitive, that being Otto Werther. Funny enough, it is described as a fast-paced John le Carre-like novel, with its pages containing spies, Nazi hunters, dark Vatican forces. It's odd how all the characters seem to flow together.